Welcome back. Time to go on the docket with attorney John Patrick Dolan as he breaks down all your legal headlines. John, good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning. So, you know, a big story here in the Valley this week, of course, that shooting in Indio that put the high school on lockdown and a couple of other locations. So two men have been arrested. What are they facing now? Well, the charges apparently are going to be shooting from an occupied car and attempted murder, at least that's what's been reported. And that's for the two people that have been apprehended. They're still looking for two people that were in the car as well. Um, my experience with Indio PD is that most likely those two people will be apprehended and probably charged in the same fashion. You have about 72 hours from the time you're arrested to actually get to court and have an arraignment, and I imagine that will take place before Friday this week and then the case will proceed through the system. The interesting thing is because there's four individuals, assuming all four are charged uh, when the uh, two remaining are apprehended, you've got the public defender, three conflict panel lawyers, a district attorney, and probably one or two judges as it goes through the system. So six or seven or eight people that are involved in the judicial process are going to be involved in this case, not to mention probation, um, investigators, law enforcement, et cetera. So it's really probably five or 10 people that are gonna be focusing on this case probably for the next year or so. Wow. How much time would they face? Well, it depends upon what they get convicted of. A um, attempted murder case can carry a life sentence. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on to India. Um, excuse me, not India. Uh, DUIs. It's holiday season. Uh, people still choose to get on the road after they've drank. What would they face? Well, they face uh, loss of their driver's license. They face some potential incarceration. Uh, they face a huge amount of fines and expenses on their automobile insurance. So the best bet is have a designated driver, uh, drink responsibly, and believe it or not, and I know this sounds a little frivolous, if you're going to go out and drink with friends and uh, relatives, maybe consider hiring a limousine or a taxi because believe me, the cost of a DUI can range anywhere on the low end from 5000 on the high end $15,000. It's a much better investment to hire a limousine or a taxi. Pay 20 bucks rather than thousands of dollars, right. not to mention you Or maybe can get Walter hurt. Clark will give you a ride home because Walter <laughs> Clark is well known for this during this That's time of right, year. they do do that. Uh, the other thing that we want to talk about is life sentences. Tell us a little bit about the changes going on a, there. A brand new decision or an agreement just came down. There was a lawsuit on behalf of a guy who received a 15 to life sentence in 1987, and he'd been turned down by the parole board 10 times. His lawyer and the parole board made a settlement which included a total change in how life sentences are looked at. There's 35,000 people in the California prison system right now that have life sentences that include the possibility of parole, not the life without possibility. And the process has been to just have them come before the parole board and the parole board says, well, uh, you know, we're not interested in releasing you, uh, basically tough luck. What the settlement required was that a date be set when somebody is given a life sentence that includes the possibility of parole. And the burden is shifted from the inmate to the parole board. Now the parole board, when a person comes up on that date, um, has to determine that this person is still a danger to the public. Now there's some people that are in on life sentences that probably that could e be easily proven. But you've got women that were uh, uh, victims of uh, you know, a spousal battery that ended up killing someone and they're in a second degree. Uh, you've got cases involving um, sex offenses that are not the extreme kind of sex offenses where because of multiple victims there's a life sentence. So what's happened is very interesting. And I think this is part of trying to get rid of some of the people in the prison population. 35,000 people now will be given a date and then parole will have to decide either they're going to be released or these people represent still a danger to society. It'll make a big difference in how many people are in our prison system under a life sentence. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have your information on the screen. Contact John Patrick Dolan at dolanlawoffices.com. And stay with us. We'll be right back.